Hello, my stamping friends. This is Renee Novak at BlessedByCards.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the United States, and I'm here today to share with you another Make It Monday tutorial. Today, I'm going to share with you the Marius Frames Hybrid Embossing Folder and how to use this in your Stampin' Cut and Emboss Machine. And I'm going to share with you a few of the cards that I created using the Marius Moments stamp set that coordinates with this. Now both of these are returning favorites but they are in our mini catalog the July to December 2022 and they are available now. So if you're interested in that hop on over to my blog at blessedbycards.com. Okay so let me share with you the actual embossing folder and why it is called hybrid. It's called hybrid because you will be able to emboss and cut out at the same time. So a tip for you is to find the Stampin' Up! logo on your embossing folder and then open that up and then find out how this coordinates with that framelit that's going to cut it out. And you'll just have to kind of turn it around and get it to where it fits on there. I can do this real quickly for you. Okay, so if you'll see, it took me a little bit to get it to, in there, but um, it does kind of, doesn't really snap into place, but it does hook in there. There's these little em raised embossing edges that this will slide right in. So make sure you have the Stampin' Up! logo on this side, and then put it right down on there. And then you're gonna want to put your cardstock in here on top of the cutting and the embossing fold it up and then with your stamp and cut emboss machine you're going to use one and four so this is one and this is four and then you're going to lay this down and i put the folded side to go in first and then you're just going to run this through your um, stamp and cut and boss machine. And let me show you what it creates. It creates an embossed image. And I hope you can see that with the camera. But it embosses and it cuts it out. So you can use the really detailed side on the negative side or you can use the embossed side. Either side will work well. And that is what cuts it out. Now, let me share with you a card I created just with that. So I turned it over so that the deeper impression would be showing. And that would be this side. And then with the, um, the hybrid folder comes all these dies. Sorry comes all these dies and it coordinates with the Marius Moment stamp set, all these poinsettias and um, other, and these, this right here, and this coordinate with the hybrid. So if you bring that back in, you could put that down, run it back through the embossing fold or stamp and cut machine and cut that out. Or, you can use this one, which is the very detailed, and you could line it up right on top of, right on top, and it kind of snaps in there a little bit. Then you're gonna run this through the embossing folder again, and what's gonna happen is it's gonna cut this out very detailed. Let me share with you a card that I did with that. Now this one's not a Christmas card. This one, is just a wedding card. And what I did was I masked off this saying in the stamp set is, it says, together is the merriest place to be. But I just stamped off merriest and put together is the place to be for a wedding card. So it's kind of a versatile set, but as you can see, it cuts it out very detailed. And then instead of cutting out the center, I just cut a white piece and added the greeting on top of that. So let me bring back in that greeting, the first card, because I used some of the dies that are in there to cut out these little flowers, and then I stamped and cut out the holly. Okay, so those are two cards that I created with it, 
And then here's another one that I just created using the embossing folder. I didn't cut it out at all. I just embossed it on the actual card itself. And then I cut out the centerpiece and stamped. These are the moments we will look back with joy. That is from Peaceful Moments stamp set. Most of the other stamp sets I use for this are the merriest moments. But this one, the greeting is from Peaceful Moments. And again, that's just basic embossing with the folder, not cutting out anything. So not using it as a hybrid, but just a basic embossing folder. And then this one, I cut it out with the um, fancy design, but I did not re-embellish it to make it um, embossed. So I just cut it out of the paper. And then again, I added this greeting on top. And then I added some bling right on top of there. And I did take and sponge in the fresh freeze the um, edges of this embossed folder. So, and that's just a basic, simple card. And then the last one I did was just a simple Christmas white on white poinsettias. All of these are from the Marius Moment stamp set, the greeting, and then I added some red bling. And this is, again, it's stamped, it's embossed, I'm sorry, it's embossed and it's cut out. So you have to run that through twice. So the first time you run it through is with the big one that I showed you. Oh, here it is. Sorry. It's the big one that cuts it out in the folder. So that's why it's hybrid. It cuts it and embosses at the same time. So that one I did. And then I ran it through a second time using this one to give that... Um, sorry, to give that embossed and detailed cut. So this is a pretty versatile folder, and um, I think you'll have a lot of fun creating with it. So again, this is the Marius Moment stamp set and the Marius Moment hybrid folder that gives you all these wonderful stamped creations. Now I will have a link to my blog at blessedbycards.com for the measurements and a PDF for all the instructions that you need to create these cards. So that is my Make It Monday for today. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe and share with your friends so you don't miss any future videos. And until next time, be blessed.